Oh, keep right out, buddy. Yeah. Praise God. Welcome, my friend, Evangelist French. Come on, come on. Put your hands together for my friend. Amen. Canadian citizen moved from Jamdown to Canada. Her husband and her kids. Put your hands together. Thank God. Welcome, a standard person. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody lift your hands and worship the Lord. Just shout to hallelujah. Glory to God. You may be seated. I want to give honor to the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to greet the woman of God. Somebody who I look up to. Praise God. I love, I admire her strength. Praise God. Reverend Dr. Martin. Put your hands together for your shepherd. Praise God for all the elders, the deacons, all God's people, little, ch little children, wherever. Praise God. The musician, those in the control tower, all those who are watching on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube, I bring you greetings and Happy New Year to you all. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. I should have been in Scarborough today, but somehow they postponed. And I said I was just going to stay home and sleep and go on our services on Zoom. Um, but then the Lord allowed his servant just to encourage me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the Lord says, okay, that's where you should go today. And I got up and put on my clothes. On my way coming, just as I approached the highway, it seems as if the vehicle was going right over to the Pacific. And God himself, I don't know, I am a person that easy to get panicked sometimes, you know. But I don't know. God just moved. I mean, the beak was like it was going around because the devil said, you're not going the second day in 2022. But I said to tell him, I shall not die. Glory to God. Ah, can somebody praise the name of Jesus? Hallelujah! I confirm what the woman of God, <laughs> Lord of mercy, Friday night, I went to my bed and I said, Lord, how comes you don't give me a word for 2022? I need something to take over. I need something. Hallelujah. And brethren, I fell back asleep. And the Lord gave me a word. And I woke up about 1, 2 o'clock. And the word was just in my spirit. And when I heard the woman of God says, don't sell out. You know the word God gave me. Maintain God's righteousness. Amen. My God. Maintain God's righteousness. Don't sell your bed birthright. My God. When I heard her, because even the same thing was coming in my spirit to tie it in. Hallelujah. Oh, when he saw soul his birthright, he didn't maintain it. My God. What a God. It is the word for 2022. Can't sell it. You have to keep it. Maintain means to keep. Labo Shata. I thought number one would surely be me. I thought I could have been what I wanted.
Verses 20. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now let's start with about verse 24. Hallelujah. And it reads us. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For the law is the knowledge of sin. But now, the grace of God, or the righteousness of God, is without the law, is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, upon all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. For all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I also want to read Ephesians, hallelujah, 4 and verse 9, and it reads us. Or 5 and verse 9. For the fruit of the Spirit is all good and righteousness and truth. Hallelujah. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. Your word have already been anointed. And so we're asking you to anoint your servant. Let preaching God be of you. Let the anointing break the yoke today. We give you praise. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. As I said before that the theme that the Lord gave me for 2022 is to maintain God's righteousness we need to understand that the Bible tells us in Proverbs 14 verse 12 that there is a way that appeared to be right hallelujah 
given to a man, but the end thereof is death. All of us from time to time will have our own opinion of what is right. But it's not what we say or what others say or what a religion or a denomination say what is right. But it's what the word of God says. Praise the name of Jesus. The righteousness of God provide for men. Hallelujah. From heaven. Hallelujah. Unto the sinful man like you and I. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is a big question. How can I be right with God? You need to understand that no righteousness or no man. Hallelujah. Can perform or produce his own righteousness because according to the Bible, hallelujah, declare, praise God, that our righteousness is like filthy rocks. Mighty God, when we talk about filthy, in Hebrew it is ed, which literally speaks of a menstruation rug. Shocking, don't it? Yes. Hallelujah. Our righteousness is like when you're seeing your menstruation. Mighty God. It is dirty and filthy and smelly. Hallelujah. But thank God for his righteousness. We became right not because of our own glory. Because we were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. In sin did our mother conceive us. But Jesus, who saw that man was going down a slippery part and decided to give him son to die for Adam's fallen race. And it doesn't matter what you have done in the past because of his righteousness, because of his death, you can now have life and have it more abundantly when we speak about righteous we are speaking about the quality of being morally right said we can't be sinless we are moving to perfection his blood make us sinless praise God his blood cleanses hallelujah praise God when we talk about righteous we are talking about goodness when we talk about righteous we are talking about Virtuous. Praise the name of Jesus. And so, hallelujah, you need to understand in order to maintain, when you maintain something, hallelujah, you enable something to continue. When you maintain something, you keep it going. When you maintain something, you support it. Can somebody praise God? How can you support your righteousness? Is the word of God that keep us? Is the word of God that maintain us? We maintain our right standing with God. Hallelujah. By praying. He says, man, I always to pray. I love we maintain our righteousness, our, our moral, by fasting. Oh God, the Bible said this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Oh God, can I preach to you? Maintaining your righteousness in a bowing world. Hallelujah. It's to stand up in the midst of pressure. Maintaining your righteousness. Mighty God. Can somebody praise God? Hallelujah. Because when the praise goes up, then the blessing will come down. Can somebody maintain? So he saw, he spoke to me, he said, maintain. Amen. Keep your righteousness Keep it, man. under pressure. When you are tested. Hallelujah. When you are tried. Still keep the fire. Still keep your vow. Still keep, hallelujah, the relationship with God. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Amen. Pursue righteousness.
righteousness Come on, sister. even when your backs are against the wall yeah. God wants us to maintain our right standing in God in maintaining oh God our right standing with God hallelujah it takes more than just coming to church Ooh. it takes more than just dressing up and look nice because if you understand that this pandemic has changed a lot of things a lot of us have the pretty clothes sit down at home can't even go to church as I speak to you many church are closed back down hallelujah so if your right standing was in your dressing up and look pretty I'm sorry for you oh god but even when I can't go to church I'm still gonna praise him oh can somebody praise god when I can't match hallelujah shoes and hat together David said I will bless the lord at all times his praise that says no this is the time when the true worshiper yes. hallelujah yes. must worship and they that worship him must, must worship him in spirit and in truth now you're going to know who is following the crowd who is just doing it for a night dinner who is just doing it for a season is to seek the present of God. Amen. Hallelujah. When last have you invoked the presence of God? To maintain, to talk that you're a Christian is not cheap. It is good to be a Christian and to be a part of the church book. But it's another thing to have a relationship with God. Praise the name of Jesus. And that is what is happening now. You are going to know right now who have a relationship with God or who is just following for the crowd. Because now is the time when every tongue has to sing and his own bottom. But I stand here to tell you, keep it going. Oh God, look at your neighbor say, neighbor, keep the fire going. pressure. Hallelujah. When people deceive you, when people turn against you, are you going to give up? You're going to maintain God's righteousness when it is you alone in church? Are you going to give up with others? But until then, my heart righteousness is walking in the spirit Amen. oh praise God Amen. somebody said walk in the spirit walk when you walk in the spirit you walk according young believers God bless your son praise God when you walk in righteousness yes. you take Philippians or Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 hallelujah love joy Peace, patient, kindness, Lord God. Somebody said, man, take kindness. Even when somebody don't kind to you. Somebody said, maintain your kindness. Lord God, even when they don't love you. Somebody said, keep your love. Mother of God, you to say, slow shit with love. The Bible tells me that love covers a multitude. Somebody said, God. Oh, when they don't love you. 
it already, second day. But somebody said, maintain it. Amen. Keep it going. Amen. Don't lose it. Amen. Don't give it up. Amen. I'll take that. Amen. Maintain your patient. Amen. My God. You know, some of us give up at the end of our breakthrough. Well, I'm going to say to you, in order to maintain your God-given righteousness, you have to have the right people in your space. Okay? Say that again. You have to have the right people in your space. The Bible says two cannot walk unless you agree. You won't be able to maintain God's righteousness. God's righteousness is his word. It's not what people say. I am my own big man. I choose whatever friend I want to keep. That's your righteousness. And your righteousness is filthy. Your righteousness is dirty, corrupt. But it's what the word says. The word of God stands up forever. Before I take or I tip up my word pass, heaven and earth shall pass away. The same God come out from among them. Be separated. Touch not. I feel Holy Ghost in here. We don't preach what people want to hear. We don't preach what YouTube want to hear. We don't preach. Hallelujah. What people want to hear. inside of you. Praise the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Hallelujah Proverbs 5 verse 5 and 6 Hallelujah trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding but in all our ways we must acknowledge him and he will direct our path. We are in a world today that it is present. The sister says the brother was growing up in church, but no, he doesn't believe in God. The Bible says in the last days there's going to be a great falling away. But somebody 
Joshua, Joseph said, I'm going to maintain my right standing. Oh God, the boss. Oh God, went away. Oh God, I feel Holy Ghost. Maintain your God given righteousness when you are in your secret place. When your church people don't see you. When pastor don't see you. When prophetess don't see you. There is an unseen eyes. The eyes of the Lord.
touch your neighbor and say, you don't have to defend yourself. Oh God, help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I'm being ministered to today, son. Hallelujah. God promised to defend you. Oh, praise God. Yes, man. No show, no stop, man. Oh God, pass the mark to no clear if you want to show and man and worship. Can somebody praise God? Hallelujah. I know this woman. She not watch no face. She a broad diet and down to earth. A radical woman. So you can praise God anywhere you want to praise him today. Somebody have me watch to believe it too. Amen. But even when you're thrown in prison, mm. maintain your righteousness. Oh God, I come into that part because I want it too sweet. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty. Bless. After I preach this word, I am not going to stop preaching this word for now. Just like how oh God gave you two months ago. Because the world must hear this. That it's going to get tougher. It's going to get rougher. Yeah. And it is not until the test come. Yeah. But it's until that. The battle is not for the strong. But it's for those who endure to the end. It's not for the swift. But it's for those who can go through the fire and come out as pure gold. Joseph was put in prison because he maintained his right standing in God. But right in prison, somebody says, maintain your God-given righteousness because the three Ps must come to hallelujah fusion. You must left from the pit. You must go through the prison. But touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, wait for the palace. I'm going to feed you. Lord God, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, let me is coming. Look at your neighbor. next speak coming. I feel somebody. This is a year of double digit. Double two, 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 double, double, double. Somebody say, whoppa, whoppa, whoppa. But men tell them, men tell
keep it. In closing, the tree Hebrew boy did not sell out. Come on, somebody take this one. The tree Hebrew boy did not hold this because I'm gonna hand it like a man get ready, woman of God. Because I'm gonna hand the button. Hallelujah. I see she do some chain preaching. Hallelujah. In the past, I know of preaching finish. But when I hand this battle, she's gonna keep it going. Somebody help me praise God inside. Mask coming here. They took. I want you to put on your mask, young man, because you're in white. And I want to use it for the phone person. But two more person come here. Quickly, man, quickly. Don't don't stop the preaching. Just come quickly. Put on a mask and come. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, come, come. Hallelujah. So three men were in the fire, but they decide to maintain the righteousness. To your God. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Praise him. You're in the fire now. Fire breathe, but praise God. Persecution and your but praise God. Hallelujah. So somebody start look. How comes them not consume yet? How comes them not dead yet? Come here, son. Yes, man. You can come. Hallelujah. Somebody else come. Praise God. But when they look, they see that there was a fourth person. I am sure, Pastor Martin, that I can count. One, two, three. Mm. Oh God, one, two, three. But no, there is a fourth one. Hallelujah. He said he look like the Son of God. Can I tell somebody when you maintain your God given righteousness? The fourth man is gonna stand in the fire. Stand up! Now sell out your birthright! Now sell out your anointing! Now sell out your dignity! Stand up! For Jesus! God bless you! God keep you! And you pursue! My righteousness! Thy word! Have I hid in my heart? That I may not sin against thee! Somebody say, Righteousness. Look across and never say neighbor. Maintain God's righteousness. Charge somebody and say neighbor. Oh, maintain God's righteousness. Look at and never say neighbor. Don't sell out. Come on, somebody give me my praise. Come on, somebody give me my praise. know the value of his birthright. He did not know as a firstborn what it takes or what it is to be to have a birthright as a firstborn. He looked down on it as nothing. And the Lord said to me, night, either last night or the night before I was meditating on the word, he said, some of us have sold our birthright have given out our righteousness and he said Sophia 
Let my people know that I have forgiven them. He said, tell them they have given it away, but I caught have forgiven them for what they had done. And he said, tell them it is a new day. It is a new season. There is therefore now no condemnation. To them who are in Christ. Sometimes we have it, but we don't know what we have. We don't know the value of what we have. And guess what? We sell it. Amen. We give it away. Yeah. What the Lord told me last night. Saturday, I was meditating on the word. And last night, and he said, let my people know. For those who gave it away for naught, I will restore them. And I'm, I'm going to bring it right back to them. Well, I can read it. I mean, I'm going to start scratch the surface of it. The Bible said when Jacob deceived his brother, took his inheritance, took his birthright, took his blessing and left, and he was coming back home after many years. The Bible said he had to wrestle with the angel. Amen. God said, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. yeah. May I go send you back. Yeah. Back to your brother, but may I go fix it. Yeah. May I fix you up. May I give a change name. For those of us, for whatever reason, walk away from our blessing, gave up our birthright, God told me to tell you, in this year, you will get it. He's going to bring things right around, back in circle, that you will get that back, which you have lost. Come on, somebody. The Lord said he's a reward of blessed and diligently seeking. Hold on. 